Hello, everybody. Uh, I wanted to come to you today and share some thoughts that I had. I had some housework to do today, some errands to run. But I was thinking about this earlier, and I thought it would be a good idea to come to you and share it. I was going to post this as a reel, but I could not get this in at a minute and a half or under. So I thought, okay, let's just slow down and really flesh out this topic because why try to squeeze it into a minute and a half? Some things really just need the time. I believe that in our society, we are severely overworked. I think majority of people, majority of like the average person is beyond the point of exhaustion. Like, I don't even want to say exhausted. I would say beyond exhaustion. And I was just thinking about this because, you know, if you've been following me for a long time, you know I've been on this path for over 10 years now. It's been more than 10 years. And I've learned a lot about myself in this more than 10 years time of really tuning in, um, really observing what's going on um, internally and my relationships, you know, relationship to myself, my relationship to life, my relationship to other people and the philosophies of life. And throughout this time, I have been able to see how important it is for me to maintain my personal balance. And what that meant was that I had to stop running myself into the ground, running myself into the ground. And I had to actually really ask myself, okay, what, why am I doing this to begin with? You know, we've been so convinced in the society that it's all about working hard and you got to work hard and, you know, you, you have to bust your ass to get what you want. And at this point, I don't believe that anymore. I don't believe it's about hard work anymore. I believe that we are evolving past that slowly, but surely we are evolving past that kind of approach to living life because I, I don't feel that that approach to life is actually living and really thriving. I think if you feel that you have to work hard in essence, you may very well believe that there's, there's some sort of competition. Um, and I don't believe that. I don't believe life is about competing. Um, I believe it's about investing wholeheartedly in what it is that really resonates with us and really brings us to life. Um, I, don't, I don't believe in this idea that we're competing for the top or we're competing for resources or whatever. You know, I don't believe that. Um, so I'm at the point now where I don't believe in working hard. I believe in working mindfully and intentionally. What is it that you're doing and what is the purpose behind why you're doing it? What is the intention? And I believe, I adamantly believe that when we're doing something with pure intention and we know why we're doing it and it's in alignment with our heart's desire, we don't have to push ourselves. We don't have to exert so much effort to make something happen. I have found when I'm in the flow and I'm in alignment, the energy emerges from within me. I don't, I don't have to gather the strength to, you know, make things happen and drag myself out, out of the house. Like, no, <laughs> I feel that mentality. Like I said, I think it's something that we're growing out of slowly, but surely. But I think this kind of run yourself into the ground mentality is what causes illness. I believe it's what causes emotional, mental, and physical imbalance. And we're coming to a point in our Earth's development as a species where we need to become more mindful of our internal homeostasis. You know, are we balanced? Like I said, I, I believe that 
majority of people are beyond the point of exhaustion. But after some time, when you're just exhausted all the time, you don't even really, you don't notice it. You're just, <laughs> you're just tired. Um, you're really, really tired, but you may not even realize it because you're just so in it that you can't, like, you just don't notice it anymore, right? So what I want to share about this topic is that when you are on the spiritual journey, what you must understand is that you cannot continue doing the same things that you were doing before. So if you were, you know, working, let's say, 40 hours a week doing something that you hate, and you know you're you're coming home and you're continuing to work and work and you don't give yourself a break that's not going to fly when you're on the spiritual journey it may fly at first if you're just developing and you're 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 you know you're getting your feet wet you're learning more about yourself but the more you place yourself a priority the less you're going to be able to do that the less you're going to be able to do things that run down and wear out the physical body because the physical container is the vessel for all this energy that you're carrying. So you have to take care of your vessel. And um, this, I don't think people realize how important this is. And I really want to make this clear because I do think that on the spiritual journey, because it's so, and I talk about this a lot, because it's so mainstream and you know people really capitalize on it, People think it's just kind of like a costume that you wear or it's something that it's like an extra layer on top of who you already are, like in terms of how you've been living your life. But it's not. The spiritual journey is one that will transform you from the inside out, which means that who you thought you were, you are not anymore. You start filtering out all of these ideas, you know, um, about who you thought you needed to be, expectations that you felt that you needed to, me to meet, whether it be other people's expectations. A lot of times it's other people's expectations, not really your own. It's like other people's stuff that you take on. Um, but you start filtering out all of the stuff that isn't you. And like I said, the more that you do that, you're going to start getting very clear on things that you are no longer able to participate in. So for myself, I've become so mindful of my body, my energy. As soon as I start to feel this sense of like, okay, I think I've done too much. And my body makes it very clear to me. That's when I'm like, okay, I'm done. I lie down, I rest, and I don't do anything for, depends on when it is. But I may take a few hours to really rest just look outside. You know, sometimes I don't even, I'm not even on my phone. I put the phone down. You know, I don't have any screen time because screen time can be draining. Uh, sometimes I'll just spend time outside, you know, sit with my tree friends. Um, and if it's towards the end of the night, like in, you know, like let's say 5 p.m., it's like, okay, I'm done for the rest of the day, honey. I'm done. I ain't doing nothing else. Okay. So. <clears throat> Now, I know that people have different situations. It's going to be different for everybody. So if you have kids, your situation is going to be different. You know, if you own your own home, your situation is going to be a little bit different. But what that means is that you're going to have to start basically moving out of the mentality of feeling like you have to do everything by yourself, which means that other people are going to have to be willing to support you and be willing to be flexible, basically. So if you desire more assistance, you need more help so that you can have more time for yourself so that you're not absolutely just exhausted, you know, people are going to have to be willing to work with you. It's going to change the dynamic of your relationships. That can be tough. That, that's a complete life transformation there. So, you know, like I said, this is a big topic. You know, I could talk about this for a while. But like I said, just know that on the spiritual journey, you can't continue to do the things that you were doing before and expect yourself to continue expanding. You're going to have to make big changes and you might not necessarily like them. Some will cause 
a bit of anxiety. You're going to have to be willing to be flexible with your lifestyle. You're going to have to be willing to be flexible with, um, you know, just what you do on a daily basis, your routine, and really make more time for yourself. Make more time to nourish your spirit, to nourish your body. You know, it's, you know, it's something that we really just, I feel like we're learning how to do it, but at the same time, you know, we really, we really need to place emphasis on this. Like, it's like we're, it's so important for us to really start making self-care a priority. From what I've seen, your conservation of your energy is so important. It's so important for you to be able to tune in, to go inward, to be able to perceive what's going on within so you can make, you know, clear, decisive choices in your life. You need to have enough energy within your vessel to be able to do that. So if you're running here, going there, and you're not being mindful or intentional about what you're doing, all your body is going to want to do is rest. <laughs> you're not going to have, you know, and then at that point, then what you need to do will show in your dream state, you know, so that's a whole other topic. But yeah, I just wanted to come to you and share that. I hope that makes sense. Um, leave me some comments down below about your experience with this, about your experience of you know, getting back to yourself, self-care, whatever you want to share. Um, sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.